While Ukrainian pilots are doing the impossible, being outnumbered and flying outdated jets, Russia is attacking with new, more powerful machinery. Historically, the MiG-29 is not suited to defeat small-sized targets such as Shahids or cruise missiles because the avionics and the radar system of the aircraft are not that advanced. Still, we manage and we're quite efficient, but it is certainly difficult. It all lies on the shoulders of the pilot. He has to detect these targets via eyesight and it's the pilot who has the final say on whether to eliminate the target or not, although he may not know for sure what he's seeing. For example, the MiG-29, Ukraine's main fighter jet, has a radar detection range between 70 and 95 kilometers against fighter jet-sized targets. It can track up to 10 targets simultaneously. In comparison, the Russian MiG-31BM is equipped with a radar that detects targets within 155 kilometers, including cruise missiles. Attaining air superiority and receiving F-16s is crucial for Ukraine, not only for going on the offensive, they also allow intercepts and rockets and glide bombs outside of Ukrainian territories, potentially saving the lives of thousands of civilians. Absolutely, the F-16s will make us stronger. Right now, even when we operate with what's available, being outnumbered and outdated in terms of technology, we still manage. If we at least equalize our capabilities in terms of detection and attack, I'm more than sure that this will lead to them being pushed far, far beyond their borders, nowhere close to ours.